everybody, I have a special treat today. I am here with the Fresno Grizzlies, head graphic designers of the Fresno Taco slash Fresno Lowriders logo, Dorian Castro. So I'm gonna be asking them a few questions and we're gonna get to know Dorian Castro. We're gonna get to hear a little bit on how the design of the Lowrider came into existence. And we're gonna talk to them from what I learned today. He is also the designer of the Fresno Tacos logo, which, before he started actually working full time here, he made that logo prior. So that was kind of like his uh, pushing point to join here. That was his initiation here first. As we were talking about the designer of the Fresno Tacos, yes. other than the Fresno Tacos, what got you involved with the Fresno Grizzlies? Uh, with the Fresno Grizzlies, I started as a fan of collecting hats. So stuff that you do, I started buying Grizzly hats. I want to represent my area and uh, I don't want to have a Giants hat or a Dodgers hat I wanted the F slash so I would come out and uh, before I started working off here obviously they would uh, do these uh, limited edition hats where it was like the um, 1998 bear the the 08 the, uh, like just just limited edition hats and uh, so I would actually come out and sit down outside of the team store wait for Leilani to unlock unlock the door and i would come in and make sure I got, got my hat so that's that's how I got involved with the Grizzlies just buying merch and um, I knew the the marketing director and he knew he knew me from just being around at different events uh, doing photography and artwork for local artists and uh, when it came about them needing uh, some design or help with, with lettering and for the taco stuff he reached out and this was me before uh, doing the internship so he gave me a call I sketched it out illustrated sent the emailed it to them they loved it and that, that just started coming around. Okay, so a lot of people are gonna ask, okay, so he used to come here, buy merchandise, he wanted to represent his area. Well, what is your educational background that kind of made you stand out a little bit more? Since a kid, I've always been into art, so as far as education, I, after high school, I enrolled to a community school, uh, to IT here in Clovis, and I went to school for web and graphic design, and that's when I started learning Illustrator, Photoshop, and got from draw that I brought the the drawings into life from there. Nice. Okay. Why choose? Okay. So with all the other Copa designs, mm -hmm. and with you know the San Antonio Flying Chanclas, you got the Chupacabras, you yeah. got the Le Luchadors of Sacramento. Yeah. Why choose the Lowriders to represent Fresno? Lowriders in Fresno, the roots are deep with Lowriders. Just down the street where we have the display right now uh, on Ful down Fulton, uh, every Sunday, it's not even, it's not organized, but you just have people cruising down Fulton on Sundays and even take it back to years. It, it just runs deep uh, to where years ago they would do car shows at the fairgrounds. And I remember as a kid, I would come out and um, see the, the car shows here at, at the Fr Fresno fairgrounds. People would cruise down to uh, the main streets, and it's just deep with the city and with our culture. Okay. So we decided to go with that, and I mean, if we want to get a little deeper, the lowrider theme was more of a last-minute thing. Okay. Yeah. So we had a a different approach to the whole Copa thing. Okay. Which involved more with it with our ag culture out here. And, okay. Uh, yeah. With the whole farm-grown thing that we have going on what at, is with the, the Grizzlies. Main agricultural type grown out here oh man there's there's a, a whole lot depending on the areas okay. I, I grew up i'm originally from here on california uh -huh. which is a small town in fresno county we have lettuce uh we have just different products out there and then in the other side of the valley say uh closer to visalia Lindsay, and portobello they have oranges and it just depends on where you're at uh down selma and mm -hmm. really area you have raisins and so it's just it's just different different products so it that's why we, we take a lot of pride in the whole yeah. uh, farm grown thing so mm -hmm. that's the base we're going off of and uh, being that it is the the Copa de Diversión the Fun Cup we're like okay this we started switching things out and we didn't want to mess with it so much since that is a, a serious thing so we're like you know what in the last week we're like how about the, the last riders? week the last really yes yeah wow. so we just went to a uh, it just popped up like how about the lowriders we called them iob and they approved us to keep the same name since it's not in the, it's not in spanish they like lowriders is fine and okay we went with it the lettering itself we had to submit it by noon uh-huh i came in at I clocked in at eight o'clock did a, did the uh, sketch out the letter the lettering illustrated 
we emailed it out. You did that all in a couple hours. A couple of hours. That is impressive. So even though like other teams have kind of done like uh, fun, uh, like logos, not all of them, of course, yeah. but like Corpus Christi did the Raspas, you, you still yeah, yeah. felt like it still should have been more serious in the sense that you didn't think that the agricultural uh, part of it should have been implemented into the Copa? Because I always kind of thought that the Raspas thing was kind of a little, man, eh, they could have done better. Yeah, so we didn't, uh, after the tacos, we didn't want to do anything food related. Gotcha, okay. So we went with the with the, with the the ag thing that I'll be getting to use at some point. That's why we don't want to unveil it right now, but uh, we started messing with it and changing colors gotcha. and started messing with the logo because all that was already illustrated. I'm like, you know what, like, we should just put that to the side and use that on one of our ag nights or something. Like, yeah. The goal by should be something more fun, like the flying chancos and all that. But yeah, yeah. But still, lowriders is still, it, it's fun, but we could build off of it. As you can see out, out of the window, we have yeah. a car show going on. So it's, had we done, not to throw any shade at any yeah. other teams, no, but no. had we done uh, in like flying chancla, there's only so much that we could do with it. Yeah. Being that it, lowriders fun, it gives us a platform to mm -hmm. do a car show and bring people out to the park. Honestly, you, you made a great choice because when I first saw you guys' logos, yeah. seriously, to, to me, yeah. your guys' logos, your hat design is in, out of the 70 teams plus that are involved this year, yes. is in my top like five hats that Thank I, you. I like. Were you into cars yourself at any point in time as a kid, as a teenager? Were you into cars that helped you influence the design of the lowrider? Yes, I, as a kid, I would uh, I would draw uh, lowrider cars, lowrider bikes. Uh, I had a lowrider bike as a kid, and being that I was around car shows and I grew up on lowrider magazine, low, they had the, their a different session where it was a uh, lowrider arte. And uh, I would buy these magazines, I would collect the stickers at the vending machines and so I would redraw them and that's a passion of mine, that, that just drawing uh, little characters and whatnot. And, uh, so when this came about, they asked, can you draw a lowrider? Like, I got this. <laughs> You're like, yeah. <laughs> I've been practicing since a kid. So yeah, it, it came natural. It wasn't forced. And do you have like one brand of lowrider better that you like better than others, like you know Ford or Chevy? Oh, like for some reason, I've always liked more, maybe a little bit more the Chevy and Polish Chevy. for some reason. Yeah, I'm not sure why, but they always kind of really come out. Yeah, I feel like like the Chevy and Polish, the '63, the '64 is more the icon. So that's what we went with on the hat. See, I told you it was a Chevy. <laughs> In my video, I said it looks yeah. like a Chevy, and, but I know you can't use any brand. Names. Yeah, so we went with with that, and for next year, I I, I had in mind doing a truck okay so um, I've always uh, as a kid I always loved the uh, the trucks with the, the bed spins and all that but uh it's not up to me yeah because yeah. we're, we're leaving it up to whoever's the winner of the of the car show okay. we're gonna illustrate that I'm not sure if you caught on if you if, uh, if you read about it so uh I didn't read that part no. so whoever wins the, the car show main prize will sit down with me will mm -hmm. illustrate their car and that's what's gonna go on the hat for next year Oh, okay. Yes, that was actually so that's one of my huge, other questions. So that's okay. the, the main prize. So whatever they choose. So if they chose like, does it have to be a car or could it be like the low rider bicycle or any well, kind of? Well, it's gonna go off of uh, it's gonna, the, the the cars. Okay, gotcha. So the judges will pick the winner. Mm -hmm. They're gonna get their big trophy. But the to me, the I, I would think the, the the huge part of the the award will be their car on the hat that their car. the players are going to wear okay. for 2020. Yeah, I would think that that would that'd be awesome. So that's, that's I could already tell you who I would vote for. With the Fresno Grizzlies using like the red, white, and uh, gold color type in their normal jerseys, Yes. why choose the color purple and the black and the gold for your color scheme? How come maybe you didn't go with like a, a red and black color scheme for the lowrider colors? What, why purple and gold and black? I, I love the color purple. and. Uh, if you see some of the cars out there, like it, a lot of their colors are candy painted. Uh -huh. They're uh, shiny and it's just c colors that pop. And uh, I wanted to give, I wanted to implement that and also pay homage to our old colorway mm -hmm. from 1998, which was a purple. Okay. And, um, so just mix that in and um, just to give it the color, uh, the, the candy paint color scheme. Okay. Were there other color choices that were being considered other than the purple? Yes, we had a uh, have the color the green I had green in mind uh, oh, just nice. to give it the uh, uh, not sure if you're familiar with uh, hip hop like that but uh, so Ice Cube yeah. in, the, in his video uh, today was a good day he's rolling up in a in a green Impala 
done uh, so that was something that we had in mind but like i said we wanted to pay homage to our old, old colorway as well and uh, mm -hmm. purple just looked nice uh dorian answered a little bit already so this is going to kind of already answer the question going forward so to represent the the next year is the color going to change so dorian said that the winner of the car show is going to help develop the next year's lowrider style for the hats so the color can uh, safe to say change yes the colors didn't change and it's all depends on the, on the car who wins if the color uh, the car is yellow we're going with yellow if the car is blue we're going with blue it all depends on up to the judges and i like that idea because just like the taco hats you can tell which one is from which year yep and i like that yeah years. and that's and if you see our work obviously you're a fan of the the taco hats so mm -hmm. every year we keep switching it yeah and, but and it could have been easy to just next uh, say 2020 switch it to the green colorway yeah. and keep it, everything the same but we just thought it would be it would be, give it more of an impact and get the the lowrider car clubs more involved and excited to where we're going to keep the name but the logo is going to change and okay i feel like that would get, get you a little more excited to buy the hat because you're going to have different lowrider cars mm -hmm. each each year okay the last question uh dory is there anything that you would like to add to the process or any you know illustrations you might want to share for the concept before you guys were able to send it to print Anything you would like to add to conclude this interview? Yes, I mean, uh, I have the original sketches of the of the lowrider and the lettering and the in the car itself. Now, do you have like, did you guys make a pro? Do you guys have a prototype of this particular lowrider? Because I saw when you guys were doing uh, advertisements or you know promos, mm -hmm. there was a, a player standing in front of a lowrider. Yeah. Does that car actually exist? This car does not exist. This is a sketch that I did myself off the top of my head. Off the top of your head. Yeah. We didn't go off of a certain car. I just know how a 63, 64 Impala looks and uh -huh. Drew would make it look like it was hopping. Okay, nice. Now for a minor league baseball, did you have any like holdups that they were maybe a little bit worried about or anything or were they were cool with the no, whole process? They were, they, were, they were smooth about it. All right, Dorian, I want to thank you for your time for doing this interview with me. For sure. Um, I hope everybody learned a lot about the design process and how a logo basically comes to life. Uh, you know, you can spend months or even years working on a design, or you can come up with it in a week. But <laughs> you always have alternate d ideas in mind. Yes, for sure. uh, you don't just stick to one idea per se, just because. And I think that is really awesome. And like I said, that one of the best logos in minor league baseball. I don't know if I'm being biased, but I've told you guys from the get go. It is one of my favorites. So, Dorian, thank, thank you. you very much for your appreciate time. It. I really appreciate it. Let's go take a look at the park, see how everything's going.